we are now in the uh, fourth Sunday of Easter. And that fourth Sunday since the Second Vatican Council has been designated as Good Shepherd Sunday. And of course that is inspired completely by those readings, particularly the reading from John's Gospel, the 10th chapter, where Jesus calls himself the Good Shepherd. The Lord says that the sheep know his voice and understand his voice. The sheep hear his voice and they respond. They don't respond to what is not his voice. It all suggests almost that not only is he the shepherd, but we recognize him as the shepherd. And almost as if to drive this whole idea home, he contrasts what it is to be a shepherd of the sheep with what it would be to be a stranger who comes among the sheep, or a hired hand who takes care of the sheep, or even a robber. The image of Jesus as good shepherd that we see in John's Gospel, of course, we also see in the Synoptic Gospels where Jesus is, is described as a shepherd, or Jesus makes analogies to a shepherd. But the image of shepherd really comes to us from the Old Testament. We remember that Moses asked God to, to send a shepherd for his people, when Moses knew that his life was at an end. And even in the uh, prophet Jeremiah, uh, we have the prophet speaking the words of God and, and, and offering that, that he would send his people shepherds who would shepherd their people, his people properly, and would give, would have knowledge and understanding. Even in Jeremiah, we know that uh, in speaking the word of God, the prophet suggests that God would send his people shepherds who would have the grace of, of knowledge and understanding would be able to lead his people. So this is a very rich image. However, in John's Gospel, it really, there is really an attempt. In John's Gospel, there really is an attempt to raise the metaphor to a new height. Because not only do we have the understanding of God giving a shepherd in Jesus, but rather we also have the understanding of our accepting and recognizing that Jesus is the shepherd. And that sense creates a kind of intimacy that you don't see anywhere else in Holy Scripture. An intimate relationship that the shepherd has with his people. And that intimacy, even for early Christians, was rendered often in artistic imagery. One of the earliest renderings of, of Christian images of Jesus is the image of a young man with a lamb hung around his neck, uh, indicating almost the sheep that was lost and was found. Or probably even more naturally, indicating the intimate relationship that the shepherd has with his sheep. But of course, in the 10th chapter of John, Jesus raises this metaphor of shepherd even higher. Because he says that a good shepherd is one who would give his life for his sheep. So not only has he been given to us as shepherd, not only do we recognize him as shepherd, Jesus would lay his life down for us.